everyone, welcome to August Empties. The tree hut sugar scrub in tropical mango. I love this stuff. I will repurchase, but I have a lot to use up in my backup stash, so it's going to have to wait. But when the time comes, I will definitely repurchase. Same with this, my Aussie three minute strong conditioner. Love it. Apparently they have a whole bunch of different kinds of these three minute. I've only tried two. Love them both. Will repurchase once I get through some of my backup stuff. The Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo by Organics. I really enjoyed this. A tip for you guys, when you find a line you like, you'll typically like a lot of things in that line. At least that's what I find. And I love the coconut moisturizer that's in this and this shampoo I really enjoy. So I will get this again and other things by Organic. The L'Oreal Total Repair Damage Erasing Balm. I don't have a lot of luck with L'Oreal hair products. Um, so no, I would not repurchase this. Same with this, the little sample size of the L'Oreal Triple Resist Conditioner. Not thrilled with it. It wasn't anything wrong with it. It just doesn't work well for my hair type. And I have a shampoo that I've got to use up of this as well. But I have two hair products, my Tresemme, for hairspray, absolutely love this, definitely will repurchase. And then a main boost uh, mousse. A girlfriend of mine recommended this. No, I would not repurchase. It was okay, but nothing fabulous, at least not for my hair type. For my Swispers, cotton round, used up one of these. These work great. I use them at night to remove my eye makeup. I also use them to put on my homemade vitamin C. I buy these in the three pack. So yes, I would repurchase. The St. Ives scrub, love this in the pink, lemon and mandarin orange. Really, really enjoy this. I think even more than the apricot. I have some things in my backup stash I have to use up, but yes, I would repurchase when the time comes. And then the Olay Fresh Effects out of the swirl. This one's in white grapefruit and green tea. Absolutely would repurchase once I go through a lot of items in my backup stash, but this is definitely a favorite. Some more skin products, the Cebu, Beauty Age Defying Eye Cream. Was not thrilled with this and I haven't had it that long, maybe three months, four months, and it's separating on me and it's not pretty. So I am throwing this away. Very disappointed in this. The Rock Daily Resurfacing Discs. Love, 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 love these. These are really thick. I haven't been able to find anything else besides these that are thick. There's only 28 in here and I think they run like $8. I cut them in half because that's plenty. It's wonderful when I'm traveling. I just take a couple of these with me and they have um, texture on one side that really scrubs nicely and then they're smoother on the other and gets the, every last little bit of your makeup off. Really nice. So yes, would repurchase. <laughs> Face masks in uh, New Herb Collagen masks. You get these two for a dollar at the dollar store or the 99 cent store. Absolutely would repurchase. Love these. The Garnier Moisture Refreshing Gel Cream. It was okay. I like my Dr. Linz better that I get from Walmart and the Dr. Linz is huge and a fraction of the price. A retinol eye gel that somebody recommended that I get. I think this was from Sally's Beauty. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase. With the Shea Her Terra Rose Hip, absolutely love this face cream. It is beautiful. It's hydrating. It smells really nice. The only complaint I have is dipping your finger in. I am trying to get away from things like that, but this is a very, all the Shea Terra, Terra products I've tried are really nice. My Armour Thyroid and my Synthroid Thyroid swear by these. Once you're on thyroid meds, it's a non-issue. If you're not on them, it can really affect a lot of things in your life. So strongly recommend everybody go and get a thorough blood test from your doctor, including your T3s and T4s, so you know exactly what you need to be on. Once you're on the pills, everything's great. My toothpaste that I always say is okay. It's not fabulous. Don't switch if you're happy. Somebody recommended I try. Actually, quite a few of you recommended I tried. So you're going to see some different ones in future. This one is from the dollar store. It's okay. I don't think your teeth get white from toothpaste. I tried the Crest 3D White Lux. You can see this is not empty. Google Crest 3D White and bumps. It's horrific what this stuff does. It's very scary. 
I had a reaction probably by the, I noticed a bit the first time, the second time I used this, I noticed. I stopped using it after the third time because my mouth was getting sore, getting bumps, and I Googled it. Very, very scary. I can't believe that Crest has not recalled this product. My gums, these are the little dental picks that I use. I like them because they're bristles instead of like a toothpick or something wood like that that's harder on your gums and doesn't get in properly. This keeps your gums super healthy. Super. When you go to the dentist, they will be amazed at how healthy your gums are. I get the, I used to get these at the dollar store. You can get them much cheaper, as my great subby pointed out, buying them either just from your drugstore or from Costco and Sam's. I think I got 200 of them for ten dollars versus ten of them for a dollar so definitely worth get, buying more and getting them cheap get my contact lenses that i get from sam's club love them swear by them be blind as a bat without them my progesterone cream i did a video on hormones this is another one that if you're out of whack you can have mood swings, sleeplessness, all kinds of horrific side effects. Go to your doctor. It's a simple blood test to see if your hormones are in range. You may need this or you may have some kind of um, uh, specially mixed compound cream or you have to work with your doctor with what's right for you. But swear by this. <laughs> Teeth whitening pan. Love this. I get it at my Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. Absolutely swear by this. My sure deodorant, I think it's about 112, 115 out here right now. We don't have humidity, but without this, I would definitely be perspiring. Swear by this. Mark also wears this and swears by it. Swear. Sally Hansen cream bleach. They come in a packet. I lighten my eyebrows and you have a powder and this. For some reason, I never go through them the same, but I uh, love this. Let me know if you want a tutorial on lightening your eyebrows. It's so simple. I'm on a Lauren. Oh my goodness, if you guys haven't seen my Mona Lauren video of why we never get sick, go check it out. You have to do what's right for you. It's natural, it's made from coconut. With all of our travel, our hectic schedules, burning both ends of the candle, I could not imagine life without Mona Lauren. It's what keeps us healthy. We haven't been sick in five years now, I think. I swear by it. I had this Vaseline spray and go. I realized I was forcing myself to use it. I don't like the smell of it. It doesn't dissipate. I could put it on at night and I wake up in the morning and I still smell like this. I enjoy nicely scented products, but I don't want them to last. The only thing I want to last is my perfume and I don't want them competing. When I didn't care for the scent and it never went away, I'm getting rid of it. And the same with this. It's almost full. I'll gift them to a girlfriend, but I am not keeping these. Life is too short. My bliss blood sugar um, moisturizing body butter. It's very nice. The scent was a little strong, but it's really nice. I do like this though. It's a very nice product, very thick. This Pearly's SPF sunscreen, I got it in my Ipsy bag. I'm not gonna be keeping it. I'm gonna gift it away. I like my Copper Tone spray sunscreen. I used up two foundations that were obviously near the end. My CoverGirl smoothers. This stuff is really amazing coverage. Um, I couldn't get the right color. This is definitely not the right color for me. So I mixed it and did different things to make it work. This Rimmel lasting foundation, it was just okay. I don't know that I would repurchase either one of these, but this one does have great coverage if you're looking for that. The Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer, it was okay. I much prefer my Monistat Chafing Gel. Swear by this as a primer. I love this. You can get it, I think, buy one, get one half off, and they're normally $6. So you can't beat the price. These are fabulous. They're a dupe. I did a video on the Smashbox primer. Um, the silicone, it is quite silicone-y, so if you don't like that, you won't enjoy this. But it is a really nice primer. My Essence Eye Gel. I love this, and I used almost all of it, but it started to really dry up. It doesn't owe me anything. I love it. I have already repurchased, but I have things in my backup stash that I have to go through before I'm going to get into the next one. But love this Essence Eye Gel. My NY cover stick used it all up absolutely love this will repurchase again I have things in my backup stash I'm trying to use up first an old wet and wild nail polish clear nail polish that's almost empty a lash grip I prefer my duo but I just use this 
two products that I'm gonna get rid of, this green stick from NYC. I'm just not a green cover-up stick. I know it counteracts red, I just don't care for it. And then an old Maybelline Expert Eyes in taupe, a hit pan, and I have so many other colors, so I'm just getting rid of this. And finally, some perfume samples that I used while traveling. I have two Fragnard, Stella by Stella McCartney, and Ralph Lauren Romance. Out of all of these, I like the Stella McCartney. It was very nice, not a favorite. I wouldn't run out and purchase it, but it was very nice. So those were my empties. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm pretty proud of myself with how much I went through and put a good dent in my backup stash. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.